what's up guys welcome to sam camp um today i just want to help you guys um just you know just for some of you who want to move to firebase or want to use it for something else a project maybe or whatever or just interested in it or you've been hearing a lot about firebase and serverless and whatever so today i'm here with the practical pros and cons video um for so for this pros and cons video i'm just going to be using a project i actually built with firebase and angular so this is the project so what the project is about it's like uh, you list items as a user and uh, other you people or uh, users can come here and just basically click on the item and uh, just see your contact details and this kinds of things and contact you so that's basically the main idea behind the application and then the person who would come here browsing for items will be able to filter items according to category perhaps filter according to books and see those uh, you know some those kinds of things uh, just remove this filter. That's basically what it's about. And then filter according to universities as well. I can basically go to this one. Like there's nothing here, and I can basically say, okay, let's see books. And there's some books in this university. So this is the core functionality of the application, right? So uh, as a new user, you would have to register to be able to sell. And then after registration, you log in, and then you can come here and sell. It will ask you to put in the item and the price and the description, those kinds of things, and the category, and you could add the images as well. This is not a perfect project as of yet. Oh man, okay. Oh yeah, well, it doesn't matter. Just gonna add those pictures. And then just gonna add an item. Just gonna add that item. Um, okay, item has been added. So probably adding the images now. Something of that sort. Just gonna wait a little bit. Uh, just adding like the three images because that's like a, it's basically like a check I added uh, because with Firebase, well, this is basically what we're going to get into. I'm just going to go through it um, one by one. So image one has been uploaded. Yeah, the images are quite big. Uh, well, checking them with like a 48 megapixel camera. So yeah, quite big. Not exactly that big, but like quite big. And uh, just to get into it, I've noticed that image uploads with Firebase like tend to be a bit slow. I'm not so sure how the image uploads work with Firebase, but they seem to be a bit slow. Um, sure, the third one was uploaded, and after the third one is uploaded, um, I can see basically here this is done. We just added now, and I basically just want to come here and remove it. But before I remove it, we could go back here and but like I use I use like a rod reuse with Angular. Um, so yeah, doesn't really quite. So this is the item I just added, right? So, yeah. And then I could basically just go back here and just say my items and remove that, uh, remove it. Yes, I'm sure. And the item has been deleted and I can basically go here. There's more things I can do. I just can go to my profile. And this is my profile. I can edit the details, um, change my password change my email, change my password and those kinds of things. This is basically the application. I can also search here for items. Um, so search, as you can see, but like there's some duplication about this. So I'll get I'll get into that as later on. So basically this is the application I built with Firebase. It took me like a month and a half, but, but not really that long because I was busy with a lot of things, um, things from work, school and those kinds of things. So yeah well i would say an average it took about three weeks i would say if i was just focused on it like it would, it would take about three weeks so let's get right into it so um i want to explore uh first i'll start with the setup so the pros and cons of setup with firebase are quite nice like it's just advantages according to me because like if you start an application or you want to set up an application with firebase just basically go to add project then you enter a name my first project we could go with that and then I continue, continue, and then pay as you go. I would be like, okay, well, no console, continue, pay as you go, blaze. Okay, yeah, yeah, blaze. Let's go with blaze plan. Uh, continue, basically, what you want to do analytics if you want to like, um, enable them, just continue select the count this is the count and just add firebase and this will just load and then when it's done your your project is like set up already right 
so according to me this was really really good i looked into amazon amplify i didn't think it was as easy as firebase is in terms of setup um and then that's it the project is like ready and i can go back here it's just gonna open up my project and i can just say okay i want to create like a web app just share yeah, just gonna enable web app hosting there it's fine i'm just gonna call it whatever i don't know i'm lazy register app let me just say web maybe that makes sense register app okay just doing the registrations okay and this is basically if you're not like this is what you would need to start using your 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 web app with firebase but like i would just say next next okay this is just the firebase um firebase tools i think it's called firebase tools firebase admin tools something like this okay and i just go to my web app just go to this config and because i was using angular what i would need just go down here this is what you could take and use i believe but i i just i just need this i just copy this for example this is this is the amount of work i would need to do for a setup and then this would be like uh my angular application and what i had was app up my little ts now i'll come here and this is it like i would just paste it for example here of course this is a bad idea for me to reveal this online but like yeah i'll blur this or <laughs> something like that and then this would be the configurations and you paste it here and then here is where i include my angular modules and then i include those that configuration file or, or object here then i'm ready to go i'm ready to start using it so for me personally this is like really really good like this is an, a huge advantage that firebase has you know the setup is really really fast and simple um just, just going forward to set up um I'll just go about documentation so firebase documentation is good as you go on but like um i can't really remember exactly which ones but i remember some parts of it were outdated so it will cause confusion sometimes i think that's a disadvantage that they have but perhaps this is for every um, company or something like that or every tool that's out there sometimes they are a bit behind i guess but the documentation overall is good we could go start with for the web Overall, the documentation is good for me personally. It's well written and uh, well categorized. So, yeah, it's really good. Okay, and let's talk about Firestore. Right, Firestore is basically how I'm able to add these documents uh, to to the to the back end to the server. Firestore is really good. I would say that it's really amazing. Like, it's really really fast. Right, especially like with the indexing that we have. Um, if I can show you, so let's those kinds of things um you just go to firebase uh, this would be the app so if i can show you just this the app is not that used but if i can show you i want to show you the cloud fire store um, okay indexes right so you have composite indexes that like make fetching data so so fast right it's so good like it's really really good i don't want to lie to you <laughs> this is really really good uh, it's something i love about firebase um but however uh, but I'll, I'll get back to it later on there's some disadvantages you need to know about some really big ones and also just to explore file uploads let me just go to me my items and just do edit images so i can add an image here um i don't know let me just add this so it's just gonna add the image um you see i don't know but i feel like image uploads with like firebase tend to be slower right this is just the ui thing i have to fix i'll fix that i don't know when don't really have that much time now uh, but like the reason why after uploads i deactivate this delete button is because I don't really upload this um, these images to um, you don't have something that explicitly and directly links links like your file uploads to your Firestore documents so for those kinds of things you would need to use cloud functions right 
which suck in development sometimes because they tend to be really slow but in in production they would be really really fast it would seem like you don't even have something happening after the upload right so i can show you the the cloud function that does this so when i upload this okay let me show you the cloud function so that's not a bad thing because they have cloud functions that are really awesome um but like yeah you don't really have something that like for example if you're using node and express you could just say okay submit the information about um maybe let's say the the, the how do i put it um information about an item or an an ad whatever with the images at the same time and then save it save them with the documents and the links well we don't have something like that with firebase right just go to my firebase functions source index.ts okay and the, let me just enlarge this if i can okay there's no highlighting here because i'm using like uh, yeah i'm sure you can see sublime text I should have opened this with vs code but i, I did with sublime text so this is the function that adds an image to my document after every file upload. After every image file upload, I would say. So what happens is I have, um, basically Firebase has extensions that you can use. So there's an extension that I have, which is basically, uh, I can't remember the name of the file ext the, the extension really, but it basically optimizes images using shop. Yeah, it uses shop. So to add an image, I just declare this const add image functions that run with this is like basically max instances those kinds of things you would probably understand but this is this means how many how many times in parallel can this function run so i'm just like now nah, only one time so it means that this will basically create something like a queue where um it will run once wait for the other one to finish and then run like that it will run in a queue instead of like asynchronously in parallel so maybe yeah that's what run make it run in a queue okay and so basically i do some checks uh, is this image an optimized one because with firebase another thing is if you're not careful and you create something that basically runs recursively so like if 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 you do you say okay on um a document update do this right and then you update a document and so that function that is activated by by a document update what you could end up having is a function that gets executed infinitely so and that is something you don't want to get yourself into it's really really bad okay um so yeah um, that's basically it so i'm just saying okay get that image um and basically update the images right so there's a method called array union it's going to append to an array and i'm like okay just path just take the object that name and then that's basically like the the pictures um path something like that okay this is the token of the picture and then this is the link this will be like the public link you need to formulate it in some way so that's yeah that's the, that's a thing with firebase uh it's not as simple as public link you, you there's a method you can say get download url but that takes time like for example if someone wants to view the pictures it's like um and that will also depend on your authentications, like uh, rules, those kinds of things, right? Security rules, there's, they're called in Firebase. So, for example, someone wants you to view a picture, it will be like, okay, get me the download URL. That's like it's going to Firebase, then it comes back, and then it gives you the link, then you go to Firebase to fetch the image, then you bring it back. That's like a lot of um, requests, I would say, for basic things. So that's something else you might want to think about. You need cloud functions a lot in Firebase. As you can see, I have quite a bit of them. But yeah, let's continue. So that's like fire. Um, okay, basically I wanted to discuss cloud functions. Cloud functions in Firebase are really amazing. Uh, the documentation is really well written. Um, I really like love cloud functions because you, you can actually schedule them to say, okay, run every three days or something like that. Or on specific days of the month. That's like, that's really cool. I would say uh, that's really cool. So I love um, cloud functions. So you can have um, cloud functions when, uh, for example, you update a document, you want something to happen, you can do something like that, right? You can do those kinds of things. But then there's a huge problem with Firebase, a very, very huge problem that you will quickly encounter when you try to work Firebase is the text search. Firebase doesn't by default have text search. So you don't have this thing, which is basic, which I feel like every single application will 
need to optimize at some point, right? And then there's a way you could tackle this. You could go with Algolio.io or you could use Elasticsearch or which Elasticsearch I think recently they have announced they are no longer open source, something like that, which is an issue. So you, you would need to pay again for something as basic as a text search. <laughs> So that's that's something you would have to deal with. You have to know it's it's a really big disadvantage with Firebase. So what I did for that was like um, every single time someone adds a document, um, what I do is uh, let me see. Just want to show that to you. Okay, so what I do is I have a single document in Firebase where I actually add that document to the uh, an array in a single document. It's kind of complicated. I don't know how to explain it. But imagine you have a one document which just stores an just stores an array, right? So every time someone adds an item, an item, I add that item to that array in that single document. And then if every time they update, I update it in that single document. Every time they remove it, I remove it in that single single document using cloud functions. And then when we need to search an item, what I do is I fetch that single document that contains all documents. And then we basically do a text search on the on the client. Like for example, your own cell phone, your laptop, wherever the laptop the, the website is running, and then we give you the results like that. So that's not a really good way because if it grows big and then it becomes a mess. Plus, there's there's like a there's a cap, right? There's a limit to how much data you can have on one field on Firebase so of of a document on one document's field. So yeah, that's that's basically a huge drawback. And I would say that if you need a lot of customization with Firebase, you should probably look into something else because you would end up doing a lot of cloud functions, a huge lot of cloud functions. So yeah, that's basically uh, my practical analysis of Firebase. I don't know if that helped, but I think for me personally, Firebase is good. It's just that it lacks some of the basic things. Like text search for me is, if Firebase added something like that, it would make it really awesome and really usable for me personally, right? I feel like that's one thing they lack a lot and they should probably get that. I don't know, yeah, they should probably get that because it, it presents a lot of issues because if you, see, if, you, if you can see here there's duplications of data uh, because of the the method I'm using to to perform a text search right I'm just I just have to fix this perhaps create a, fun, a cloud function that runs every five hours to detect duplications or remove duplicates and those kinds of things so this is a lot of work for something that should be basic right so yeah in, anyway guys that, that's what's my Firebase practical analysis of the pros and cons and I hope that helped you a bit I don't know that it, it, it did help me to create this project to understand what Firebase is like and how it works So yeah, thanks if you like this content you please subscribe and share the videos